weekdays from six. One of my favourite listens. You know, if you're not listening to um, Radio 4 for the proper news, you must come to BBC London 94.9. Penny and Paul, lovely. Now, in front of me, I've got three luscious things and, and also a luscious Richard Johnson. My mouth's gone funny because I've been eating ice bottles, so I've gone... I'm. I look like a cat's bottom now. I can't really speak. (laughs) Um, I have in front of me three ice lollipops, like um, traffic lights. A pink, well, a red, orange and green-ish. Talk us through them. Well, there are all kinds of statistics about how well ice cream, unsurprisingly, has been doing recently. I think that R&R, who are our British, the biggest, in fact, they're the biggest in Europe, biggest ice cream makers, say that they're two weeks in the last month have been their, their best weeks ever. So, But actually, the, you, you pull apart the figures and the really exciting stuff are things like um, the growth in ice lollies. I think people are slightly concerned about their fat intake. They want the same bursts of flavour, but but not the calories. And this is one of the results. The, a guy called um, Cesar from Ice Kitchen, uh, he is... He's a street food trader. He's related to the, the Roden family. He knows taste. Oh, tell us more. Claudia, Claudia Roden, the queen of yeah. M- Middle Eastern cooking and Jewish cooking. So he's grown up in food. That was his aunt. And I think she was over from, I think she's in New York at the moment. And she was over recently and they've been making flavours. And what you are sucking on right now is one of what they has been working on. Oh, it's, I can't talk and I don't want you to hear me tell, tell us. Well, it's actually, it's a mojito ice lolly. It, it's uh, so what you've got, but it, it's it, it's actually food on a stick. You can see. I'm mean, looking at you now. I can I can see the the leaves of, of real mint that have been have been treated with a syrup overnight. Um, and the wonderful thing of what, about what Cesar does is, is that all the herbs and spices uh, have been run through a, a sugar syrup. Um, but they just give. I mean, another of the lollies that we're about to try. They just give a note. There's just something there. And I think typical about all the foods that we're going to try today is that it's very adult. You know, think of a, a lolly, it's not just a, a rocket got, or a fab got, anymore. Well, has it got rum in it then? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, big time. Okay. See, very sensibly, because he's such a, a cool entrepreneur, is he's thinking, well, lolly is great in this kind of weather, but what about November? What about January? Where's the lolly market going to go then? So he's thinking, well, well, how about clubs? How about that idea that, you know, it's 2am, I'm slightly sick of my gin and tonic or beer what do i move on to a cocktail on a stick is what you've got yeah. you've got there and clearly enjoying it i can't talk <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i cannot talk it's brilliant because it is a mojito yeah uh, down down to him using soda water it's uh, brilliant. Uh, uh, it's brilliant. and the lime um, um he, he uses uh, real lime there's real lime with lime skin in it and it's I'm as far from away from those those remember those little those sticks those sticks of see-through plastic that that would come as a liquid and you'd pop in your yeah, yeah. in your freezer I mean, this is proper so that's the green one that's the green one what's the middle one that's a uh, uh, mango with tarragon no, it's actually, sorry, it's a peach, because he found some amazing ripe peaches that he wanted to use. And because these are quite short, small production runs, he can be as flexible as he needs to be. And uh, he, he'd been working out what to do, oh, with, what to the do with the what to do with the tarragon. Now I can taste the peach. And uh, what it does is it gives it an, an aniseed quality. And the strawberries and cream, which is probably his bestseller. But they're just, you know, the, the way that, that burgers have been reworked... And given the pedigree that they deserve, and hot dogs have been... It's not junk food anymore. The same thing's happened to the lolly. How much and where do we get these things? Uh, now, he's working on the South Bank today. So uh, there's a the real food market down on, on the South Bank there. So that's past Nelson Mandela's head, down the steps, and yeah. there it is. Yeah. And it's a fantastic food market, isn't it? really it? is. Um, so sorry, how much are these? Do you know? You probably don't. I think they're about... Two pounds fifty. But if quid. you were to buy a mojito, it would cost you seven, eight quid, wouldn't it? If you yeah. actually bought the cocktail, I think that's brilliant. Thank you so much for researching it. Um, go on, speak yeah. away, please. This is, this is, a, oh, this is a, a thing of beauty. Can I put this? Now, listen. Whilst we look at this thing of beauty, I'm going to play Stevie Wonder so I can nibble it without you having to hear me nibble, and then we're going to talk it through. Um, Stevie Wonder, he is the god. I've made a decision. I'm going to play him every week if I can. Come on. Listened. Oh, I. Superstitious. 